Hello wonderful people, you are welcome to another tutorial by Radiance Creations. In this video, what I'll be showing you is how to make our Zera cap. Please don't mind my hair shocking. This is very soft. It's the one on the client that gave it to me that wants to use to make a Zera cap for her daughter. But this one is a teenager. And I'll be using the same size of face that I use for adults for her. I have my marker here, my scissors and my tape tool. So this hair shocking, I have cut it out. Now it is three pieces that I'm joined together for gaming. So I um, I just use everything out. So I cut this one out for the brown and I the length for the TV is 20 inches. This one 20 inches, uh, 25 I mean, 25 inches, 25 inches. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and so I'll place it on each other just the way you saw your actual key. Just place it on each other very close. Don't close like you very close, like about half inch, about half inch, not up to half inch. So the same way you join everything together. Now the width for this head circumference uh, for this actual case six inches. We we know we know we have six and a half seven inches and seven and a half actual case. This is only six inches. So I'm going to take it to my sewing ma sewing machine. I will sew them together and also sew the edges to secure it from losing out. Yeah, I've sewed it. Can you see? So don't mind this place is when I was sewing something happened to it. I tried to go that way, but it won't affect it since it will be at the back. This one will be at the front. Now the marco, the marco is two and a quarter by eighteen inches. So get the center of this marco already. Just get it started by folding into two, and the center of this actually by folding into two is my. This is the center, and that one is the center. So for put it in between the marco. And take it to my sewing machine and sew. So the when you use it to cover the marker, it will be about to be bigger than the marker. There will be hesses on the top, like half inch. So you take it to your most sewing machine and just sew it. Don't sew on the marker, sew above, like on the top. Yeah, see, so sew it. So the marker is inside here. I forgot to tell you the length, the mini length of this. If after I have joined it together, I have 20 and a half inches here. That's why it's good to add more. So, because by the time you join the two ends, it's going to reduce. But at least we must have 24 inches. But three and a half is still okay for me because the extra face is 22. So, I will still have like one inch. This is all right. So, next thing is to fold this is the right side now. Is to fold this inside because we want to hide where we sew and this line on our hash okay. We will fold this inside. You can use your hot glue, but it's not right now. I'll be using my BC Stars or gum and I will apply generously on it. So you fold it inside, don't fold everything like this. No, just a little, you just fold inside. See if you're hiding the sewing parts inside the as the under the marker. So you fold it, you see, you see. So I'm going to apply my gum here, my gum all the way down there, and so that this place can be like this. So if you have your U.S. gum, it is good to use U.S. gum or hot glue, so that it can glue very well. So I will allow it to go inside and use it to cover it. I'll apply your so that it can go. Let me allow you to go inside first, and also you also turn it to the other side and the back so that you can glue this to this. The next thing to do is to fold it into two like this. So I'm going to measure the 22 inches, which is 11 inches divided by two. So I'll measure 11 inches like this, and I sew it just the way you sew your top down. I'll sew it straight. So there's no need of coughing your this thing. So just sew it the way it is like this. I'll do this very well and sew. So where I go, you can actually sew it with your needle and thread. Just make sure you sew an invisible sewing there. So it's okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and sew it the way I said it. Just sew it like this. And you do your running stitch length. Now I'll start the running stitch from here. So if you don't want to have um make it too long, you can just use two piece instead of the TV I use it. Two piece is okay. Just be small your head and it's okay. And if you want to use two piece, make sure your the marker you put inside is no more than two and a half. Because if it's more than two and a half, it will be very small. The time you saw it reach, I turn it the way I turn. So now you can just go ahead to embellish it with anything. Now we move to the next thing. Just embellish anything like. Add in design to it to the back or the side of the front. So this hard cap is going to have two design, one at the front and the other one at the back. For the one at the front, it's going to be a roll, just like in form of three. So let me say a roll actually that will use to design the front. For the one that will be at the front, I have 36 inches here. By the time I saw this, I have 34. So it is better it, uh, it is necessary than when it is not enough. When if it says it, I'm just going to cut the remaining things out. Remember we still have 6 inches the width. I'm going to fold it like this. And we begin to roll it. We are going to be rolling it. So I'll roll it down and try to use it on the cell cap. I'll first use my needle and try to sew the first part. First, the beginning, I mean. Now I'll start the sewing from this place. From this end, I will sew it from this end and I will sew it to the cell cap. Invisible tacking. So this design is going can be into two forms. If you start like this, you can just instead of this roll I wanted to do, I just bring this one to the front like this. You can see to the back and tack it down. So it can come that way. And it is beautiful, but that's not what I'm going to do. So what I will do now is to start rolling. Start rolling. So when I roll, I'll just bring it to the top like this and hold it down. So I hold it down. I will just you can use your hot glue to do this, and you can also tack it if you can use your needle and thread to do that. So now, but I'll first use my office pin to hold it so I can continue with the explanation. Even though, even if you want to tack, you just first use, use your office pin to hold this. So the roll is still going to continue. And this one is up. I'll also bring this one down like this. And I'll use my office pin to hold it. So you can use the office and uh, auto glue to hold anyone that is raising up. I'm going to use my uh, needle and sorry office pin to also tap this one down and continue. So the same way you're going to do it, so you reach the back. You can also make this one twist. You can twist it using two. So also tack it down. I'll continue, make sure you hide the edges, don't let the edges to be showing outside at all. So I'll also bring this one down and I'll tuck it down. The same thing I do till I read back. Yeah, this is how it's going to look, you see. 
so it's going to look like this. Now we're going to, to use manure and try to tar that place. And here I have her says, so that means if you use 13 inches, it's going to be enough for you. I'm not going to cut this SS out, I'm just going to do a bow and place the design that I wanted to place at the back on it. So I'll go ahead to sew, tack it down the way I just did this. Now I have gone on there to sew it using another and try to just sew it the way I use my face paint to edit down. And this is what we have. So you can just design your own with anything. Now go ahead. I will just form the design at the back. Now for the design that will be at the back, it will be a bow. You can just go ahead to do any design at the back of your own Zara cap. So what I'm going to use, uh, this is 35 inches. Because of the nature of this, uh, I'll show it is very light. So I'm going to fold it like this. And fold it like this to make my bow at the back so I just want small bow like this so just as if I'm using two on each other so that it can stand very well even for light now so I place it on the, on the back at the back so if you are using a tea casual you don't need to do something like this Now get the center and for the use my needle and thread to or my thread to tie the needle. Now I love the way I have a SS here on this, so I'm going to place this and continue the row that I started with. And roll it on this. Can you see? So it's good like this. Now use my needle and thread to tack it down. Just make sure I roll it very well. Use my needle and thread to tack it down. So if you can see, let me go ahead to do that. Use my needle and thread to roll it down so you can have something like this. Now we are done with this Zara cap design. This new version of Zara cap for Meridian's table. Easy, all oh, but is beautiful. So you can just go ahead and embellish your own with stones, with pearls, with brush, with anything. I love it. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you later. Thank you. What how we just used to embellish this is this trimmings. If you know it, I just caught one. I will apply me. This is thousand on it, and now we use it to embellish here. Just go like that.